Japan went on a solo trip to Kanazawa in Japan. The city has a perfect view of the snow. In a district that still retains traces of the day of the samurai, he got to know good old Japan. Tasting fresh seafood at the restaurant that only the locals know. Through a day in the life of my husband Ken, who works in Tokyo, we will show you the lifestyles and culture of today's Japan. I hope you enjoy the trip. Ken is going out on a solo trip. He's going to see his old friend who used to live in Tokyo, but now living where he was born. He is heading to Kanazawa City in Ishikawa Prefecture. He will change trains at Shinagawa Station and head to Haneda Airport, Tokyo's gateway of the sky. With the opening of the Shinkansen bullet train a few years ago, it's only one train ride from Tokyo. However, Ken decided to use his mileage to save on travel expenses. He came to Haneda Airport. Airport is exciting, isn't it? He's walking around without any purpose. Thought of having breakfast at the airport, but no stores or restaurants were open yet. Even though it was early morning on a weekday, the airport was crowded with many tourists. Time for departure. Moving through airport by bus. Small airplane. He's going up the boarding ramp. The plane is fully occupied. Kanazawa is located in northwest of Tokyo, 300 kilometers away. It takes only 40 minutes in the air after departure. To get to Kanazawa City by plane, you first get off at Komatsu Airport. He's not in a rush, so decided to have a little peek of the airport. Hi there, Osumo-san. There are only a few souvenir shops and a few restaurants. It is a very small airport. Ken went into Udon Noodle Restaurant, Komatsu Udon. Well, he hasn't had his breakfast yet. This Udon Noodle has been loved in this area for over 300 years. Here comes the bowl of Udon. The udon bowl is filled with grated Japanese yam, nameko mushrooms. Udon is chewy and it's really good. Let's go right ahead to the central city. He took the shuttle bus to the city of Kanazawa. Direct bus to Kanazawa station. It's 1,300 yen for an adult. Another 40 minutes journey. The highway is along the sea. Sea of Japan. On the other side of the sea is the Korean Peninsula. Bus got off the expressway and heads to Kanazawa City. Arrived at Kanazawa Station. As access from major cities to Kanazawa became easier, the city has rapidly grew as a famous tourist destination. Some places from the time of samurai are still left in this area. A market where you can enjoy fresh seafood. A district where you can enjoy geisha entertainment. The city has all kinds of different tastes. This is the tourist information center in the station. They can give you advice on sightseeing and how to use the free Wi-Fi available in the city. English is also available. This is the symbol of the station, Suzumimon Gate. The motif of this gate is Suzumi, a type of Japanese drum. This is Motenashi Dome, which is made entirely of glass. The motif of the dome is an umbrella, as Kanazawa has a lot of rain and snow. He has some time before checking in at the hotel, so he is going to take a walk. First, he went to Kendokuen Garden which can be said to be Kanazawa's most popular sightseeing spot. This Japanese garden was created about 350 years ago. The garden was covered with snow from last night. In an area of 11.7 hectares, there are 8,200 trees of 160 different types. Ponds, small human-made mountain, lantern, 
stone bridges, and plantings offer a variety of Japanese beauty. The area has been awarded the highest rating of three stars in the Michelin Tourism Guide. There is Kanazawa Jinja, Kanazawa Shrine, right next to Ken Rokuen. Going beneath the Torii Gate, Ken goes into the shrine. It's the shrine of school work or study. So, there are many students here to worship. It is said that some wishes on finance or money would come true. So, Ernest Ken stopped by to worship for himself. Kanazawa Castle Park is also located next to Kenrokuen Garden. About 450 years ago, there was a castle, Kanazawa Jo, Castle of Kanazawa. However, it was destroyed by lightning. After that, it was partially rebuilt, and now it is used as a park. <coughs> Time for lunch. Kanazawa is famous for oden. Oden is a traditional Japanese dish that consists of ingredients simmered in flavorful broth. For him, with a beer for sure. Looks just too great. He chose konnyaku, daikon, hu, and other classic oden ingredients. Oden can be found all over Japan, but Kanazawa's oden is characterized by its simple soup. After warming up with warm oden, it is time to check into the hotel. He made a reservation at Furutsa Kanazawa, which his friend recommended. Of course, the price may vary daily, but today's room rate was 3,800 yen. <laughs> Rooms are compact but stylish, clean, and I think I can say it's just enough for a solo traveler. There are also travel necessities. Bathroom and toilets. Clean and neat. Rest yourself in the bathtub. He was a little tired from walking, so decided to get a massage with a massage machine. He went to the lounge and found a bar. A welcome drink is included for guests. You can choose between wine or sake. Ken chose white wine. Coffee, tea, and other drinks are all you can drink for free. In the evening, he's planning to have dinner with friends. Ken still has some more time, so he decided to go out for a sightseeing in Kanazawa again. He came to Higashi Chayagai. This town was established about 300 years ago and still retains the atmosphere of a hanamachi. Hanamachi is an area where chaya stores where you could enjoy geisha entertainment gather. Today, geisha can only be seen at few chaya. But back in time, there were nearly 90 chaya in this area. Now, the tea houses are used as restaurants. He stopped by at a sweet shop in Higashi Chaya. The shop is called Hayuwa. Climbing up the small steps, going up to the second floor. The interior is decorated in red and gold and displays works made by local craftsmen. And what is wonderful is the view from the window. You can overlook the main street of Higashi Chayagai. He's going to have a set of ohagi and Japanese tea. Ohagi is a sweet made of rice cake wrapped in red bean paste. The layout is elegant just like this town. Cut into small pieces and eat with this little wooden spatula. It is sprinkled with green tea powder. The elegance is also in the taste. But for Ken, the size was way too elegant. The second piece was done just by a bite. This town at dusk is also quite tasteful. Quietness and the gentle lighting is so healing. What is Kanazawa's nightlight like? 
King came to Katamachi, perfect town to enjoy dinner and Japanese sake. And look at the atmosphere. Unique stores are lining up in the street. It's a bit awkward to enter for the first time, but once you do, you'll be treated like a friend, even if you're a tourist. That is the personality of the people of Kanazawa. However, he's meeting his friend in another town. He came to a restaurant called Tempura Usaichi. It is a bit away from Katamachi. It's not listed in any guidebooks, and only the locals know. It's the favorite place of his friend in Kanazawa. His friends were already there, waiting for him. Why not start the long night? <laughs> this place has a great atmosphere. They have fresh seafood in reasonable price. Sashimi. Tempura of fresh seafood and vegetables from the mountain. Soba noodle with huge tempura. Every single dish is heavenly delicious. <laughs> Conversation never stopped together with their chopsticks in their hands. <laughs> of course, non stop drinking. He's choosing ochoko glass. Ken is going to have Nihonshu Japanese sake. The beer lover Ken drinking sake. He must be having too much fun. But hangover for sure. Ken's night in Kanazawa continues. So, this was another day in the life of Ken. Go visit Kanazawa and let us know what you experienced. See you again in the next video.